How's it going guys? Brett Medlock here. Today I wanted to talk about the game called RFL Enhanced Edition. Or is it Arafel? RFL, Arafel, Chlorophyll, Borophyll, who gives a sh Anyway, I'm gonna go with RFL. If you haven't heard of this game, here's the description straight from Nintendo. RFL Enhanced Edition is a 16-bit era Japanese-style RPG by Stegsoft Games. The new Enhanced Edition features a slew of upgrades including a revamped battle system, new character classes and skills, new side quests, an overhauled UI, upgraded crafting system, a new enchanting system, enhanced aspect ratios, new difficulty modes, an autosave feature, and more. Wow, so even if you had played the original version, this might be worth a double dip given all the new features. I have not played the original, but I have sunk some hours into this one, and I'm having a lot of fun so far. You play as Lita. She's an archer who's on a journey with her friend Adrian, who may or may not be in love with her. They're searching for a ring in an ancient tomb so they can earn a chunk of money. However, things don't necessarily go as planned, and the ring may be a bigger deal than they originally thought. They're from a bustling town called Aloria, where things recently started feeling off. The animals are disappearing, and there is word of a vampire war on the horizon. I won't dive deeper into the story to avoid spoilers, but I must say, I'm pretty invested so far. I had seen some Steam reviews of the original version of RFL, and many said that the story was lackluster. But that's honestly not what I'm getting from it, I'm actually really liking it a lot so far. It may start to fall apart further in, but as of right now, I'm pretty hooked. As for the presentation, the game is pretty damn stunning. I constantly find myself gawking at the beautiful 16-bit pixel art. However, so far where the presentation truly shines is the sound soundtrack. While the art style is retro, the score is modern instruments, and there are some truly breathtaking songs. Seriously, if you're not captivated by this opening song, you have no soul. I can already tell this is a soundtrack I'll constantly listen to even when I'm not playing the game. Also, I wanted to note that playing in handheld mode looks seriously good on Switch. The colors really pop and the graphics look more crisp on the smaller screen. More on the presentation, battles look pretty basic. This could be because I'm fairly early in the game so I haven't gotten to better, flashier special attacks yet, but even if the visuals do disappoint in this portion of the game, the combat itself is fun and engaging. The battles are set up very similar to Chrono Trigger. However, unlike Chrono Trigger, everyone takes turns with attacks evenly, so you don't have to worry about being bombarded by attacks while you're thinking of your next move. Things have been pretty easy so far, but the first boss battle was pretty challenging and kept me on my toes. Aside from that though, it's been smooth sailing. What's cool is that before starting the game, the menu tells you that playing on normal will prevent you from needing to level grind, which I appreciate, both the warning and not needing to level grind. While it is a bit samey, I'm enjoying the combat quite a bit so far and I'm eager to see how it expands and changes in difficulty. And this is kinda random, but it's pretty interesting playing as an archer healer as the main character, as typically it's a more basic character like a swordsman, so I appreciate that aspect. I'm also a fan of the easy to do crafting system. As you travel the world, you'll pick up tons of supplies to use for crafting potions, weapons, and even upgrades for your gear. Speaking of the world, it's pretty darn massive. A bit too massive for my taste. I often find myself lost and confused on where to go. Sometimes the quest objective can be a little too vague on where you should be heading next, and then I find myself just roaming around for longer than necessary trying to find where to go. A standout in RFL is the writing. It's very charming and witty, especially the dynamic between Lita and Adrian. I'm constantly smiling and laughing. However, the relationship between Lita and her overprotective, worrisome dad is very intriguing and more serious in tone. I'm eager to see how the relationship changes, as Lita is always eager to just get out and kick some ass. RFL Enhanced Edition gives me serious Chrono Trigger vibes in its world and characters. The combat, while a bit samey, does the job. With rock-solid presentation and an interesting plot, this is a game I look forward to diving deeper into. But be sure to let me know what you think. Have you played RFL Enhanced Edition on Nintendo Switch or PS4 or anywhere else you can play the game? Let me know down in the comments what do you think about the game. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're feeling generous, hit that notifications bell. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will talk to you guys later.